All right, I want to uh, take a minute and show you how to create, delete, edit gradients and uh, save them. So let's uh, let's go pick a, a photo. This has a nice gradient in it uh, that I'd like to, to make. Now your gradients are stored in the Edit menu, Presets, and in the Preset Manager. And here's where your brushes, swashes, so everything else is saved too. So here's your gradients. In order to, uh, let's say if I wanted to save a set, I wanted to back up my a set of gradients. I could click on this first one and shift click and everything in between is selected. I could save the set and we'll just call this uh, backup and I'll save it up to, it wants to save in my gradients for Photoshop. Uh, I, I think I'll just save this to my desktop. And so if I switch over to my desktop right now, you'll notice that I have a file called backup.grd and it's an Adobe Gradient file. And so then I can save this off to a disk uh, or to a flash drive, come back in and use it later on or on a different machine. That's one way you can back them up. The other thing you can do is delete them uh, just by clicking the delete button. And uh, another thing you can do is you can load them. Uh, so if you have some uh, loaded somewhere, let's see. So if I go in here into my sets of uh, patterns and gradients and so forth, I can pick a particular gradient file and double click on it and here they are loaded up. All right. But let's see how to make a, a new gradient. So you need to be in your gradient tool and then come in and click on the gradient swatch up in the options bar. Let me tell you just a little bit about this. On the bottom are color stops. On the top are transparency stops. So if I click on a transparency stop, for example, I could say I want that to be zero transparency and to go from from 100% opacity to 0% transparency. And you can put these any anywhere in between. So you can say, well, I'd like to be at 50% at, uh, or so right there. These little sliders in between are the midpoint sliders. And so as you, uh, oh, to get rid of one, just drag one off. If you accidentally click one on to get rid of a stop, just drag it off. So if you click on a stop, you can see the midpoint sliders right here. So let's uh, let's choose a gradient that's fairly simple, and we'll edit it and save it as a new gradient. All right. So these are the color stops down here. You'll notice that color becomes active when you click on a color stop. Transparency becomes active when you click on a transparency stop. So let's start here. And we'll just start right up here in this corner with a nice dark purple color. Then let's say I want another stop here that's about this color, and another stop here that's about that color, and another stop here that's about that color, and another stop here that's about that color. And then finally we'll change the last one to this. Now in order to save that, you just need to give it a name and click on the new. So now that's a, a new gradient in here. And that gets saved here in the uh, presets manager. You'll notice that that's been saved as sunset one right, right there. So I can get my gradient tool and I can do a gradient just like that. Gradients are very powerful. Uh, they are very useful as well. And so now they're pretty easy.